Well, how do you do, failers? All right, so yesterday I uh, decided I'm going to take off my stock tires and put on um, my DIY ice tires because we have some snow coming here in PA. A lot of snow and rain, and it's going to get extremely cold. So, uh, so this is what I did. I put on my DIY set. Hopefully my camera shows here. So what I have in here are uh, quarter inch tap cons with uh, quarter 20 nuts. And these are on my stock AT81 tires uh, from my Yamaha FX. And see these little buggers are, these are rounded off a little bit. I got a probably good six hours on them maybe oh that bike looks bike looks so pretty there's my mile armor mount I switched it up from my last video got it off my handlebars so okay so the whole purpose of this video is everyone knows that I run tubeless in my tires and the tubeless system creates a 360 bead lock you can run extremely low pressures in your regular tire but to help prevent flats because you can still get a flat but it's rideable you can ride out with tubeless um, I put slime in my tires now I seen this with the set that's on the bike now but here's the set that came off my bike uh, well from new I, I uh, Husky, well if you guys know, it's a 2018 TX 300 and I had it for slightly over a year now and I'm just now, I got 52 hours on the motor. I don't ride a whole lot. Um, there's, <laughs> I don't drive so for me to get around to ride different places I have to rely on somebody. So. You guys are thinking, you know, why aren't you posting more videos and stuff? But anyway, enough of that talk. So, I put slime in my tires to prevent flats. Um, and I'm having a major issue with slime. And I want to show you guys this. Proof of the pudding. Do not, now repeat, do not run slime in your tires. They say slime does not um, eat away at stuff. Uh, wrong. And here's proof. So this is my front tire. If you guys, I got my front and back tire up here on a toolbox. Or on the workbench, I should say. And hopefully... Uh, okay. Well, I need light. So, go to the toolbox here. Got my flashly, flashlight. Whoa! Now, hopefully the camera shows us, or picks it up. So the tire is literally, the slime is literally eating the way at the tire. And you guys know what that spaghetti squash is? Uh, that you guys eat, like, or spaghetti noodles? That's what it's doing to inside of my tire. So the front's not as bad, but there's the rear. This is the back tire here. Let's see if I can get some light in here. It's literally chunking, it's eating the inside of my tire away. It's on both sides of the tire, inside. And the tubeless does not contact. This is, this is in, sorry. This is in roughly, well it's a good finger. It's on the inside of the tire, it's not, it's not at the bead area. This is where the slime is sitting when it's, you know, rotating in your tires. Uh, see it's literally eating through the tire Let's see if I can stack this on here if you guys can see that the rubber is now super soft and it's like I said it's it's all on the inside so when they say slime will prevent flats yes it will do that. 
Um, but it's very, it says non-toxic. I don't have any slime bottles here. Actually, I do. I have double D40 in this old one here. So right here, is, this is what I was running in the tires, and this is what's eating. It says seal instantly, uh, fiber seal technology, and non-toxic. If you guys can see that. Well, it eats rubber. Because there's nothing else in my tires uh, that would be eating away at the rubber. This is my original stock set off the Husky. The set of tires that are on the bike now with the ice screws are from my Yamaha. Exact same manufacturer, the Dunlop AT81s. Now I do have a brand new set of tires that I'll be putting on the bike once the snow and stuff melts for uh, the summertime, springtime. But um, so this is what I put in uh, my tires now. This was highly recommended by another rider and this is made by flat out it's the sportsman formula and this stuff here says it actually fixes a half inch hole compared to slime and that's a quarter inch hole and actually it gives you some uh, some literature right there got a little glare So I highly recommend you guys, if you guys ride a lot and you go through a set of tires really quickly, like in a month or two, or even six months, go ahead and use slime, it's okay. But if you're a person like me that only rides a few times a year, uh, whatever set of tires you have on, it's gonna eat through and you're gonna end up having um, basically like huge holes through your tires and you're gonna turn into junk. Um, Here's my tire spoons. I had washies yesterday. They're good. And look at this. These are, uh, I think these are steel. They're made by Tusk. And I'll get you some light on here. It is it's actually corroding my tire spoon. This is from the, the slime. It's literally corroding my spoon my tire spoons and being steel like that and your tire or your wheels are aluminum most of your tires are aluminum or tires sorry your rims um actually I could be wrong it might be steel or aluminum I don't know anyway it's eating it's the slime is eating away so don't use slime all right, failures, if you like this content, please smash the like button. Um, got some snow coming in two days, so we're going to get the old two-stroker out on some snow and ice and see what she does. So stay tuned for that. Um, you guys can now smash uh, the notification bell. Uh, YouTube had changed some laws for the new 2020, and I had my account set up for uh, kids, and apparently... You guys won't get notifications and all that stuff, but I took it off that. So, anyway, until next time, fellas, yeet yeet.